Esther is on her way to the San Diego seminar last Saturday actually on Friday she was checking into the hotel and her escalates in the garage and it's a beautiful garage a nice garage door and and she remembered she was on her way to the airport to pick up both of her sisters who were flying in at different terminals and she had been answering emails and she was on a disc that we would describe as trying to do too much in a short period of time the best word for that is <laughs> is overwhelmment and a little bit of frustration but she was scurrying around and under those conditions she has a list of things that she checks off she just sort of goes into robotic mode and she just does what she needs to be doing and never mind what disc she's on she's got to go to the airport so at the last minute she remembered she was going to bring this chair with her it was in the house in Del Mar and Scotty and Sandy are with the truck here so it's a perfect time to get this chair in the truck so she went out and put the lift gate up on her Cadillac and carried the chair out it doesn't weigh much and put it in there and put her bags in and then she realized that there were going to be too many bags with the chair so she put her bags in the back seat because there were only going to be three of them and got it all orchestrated and then she pushed the button that opened the garage door even though she's the one that has been telling everyone forever one or the other but not both and as the garage door opened since the lift gate on the Cadillac was up the garage door caught the lift gate and ripped the windshield wiper right off the back of the car just ripped it off and Esther just stood there and said yes <laughs> of course <laughs> Of course I would rendezvous with that. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming or going. I don't know how I got myself into all of this physical activity. And the windshield wiper just hung from its little water cord. It just hung from its little water cord to demonstrate, to demonstrate to Esther. And then Esther thought, you can't ride like that. And so she went in and got duct tape and scissors and taped the windshield wiper to the back of her beautiful car and laughed all the way to the airport because couldn't wait for Scotty to come and open the back of the car to get the chair out and he didn't disappoint her oh <laughs> duct tape <sighs> so annoying when you, when you have to demonstrate your dysfunction so openly but the universe is demonstrating it to you all the time isn't it in other words that's a match 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 not the end of the world but it's a match it's not the end of the world but it's a match so we want you we want Esther to enjoy the constant match and then to conclude could I have made a better choice what will I do differently tomorrow? What will I do differently tomorrow? What will I do differently tomorrow? Something different. That might be as far as you can go. <laughs> do you know that if you don't have goals of your own, you become part of someone else's goals? Do you know that if you don't have momentum of your own, you become part of someone else's momentum? Do you know that you have control of your own momentum? Do you know that you have non-physical universal forces and energy backing you up? We're doing the best sales job we've ever done in asking you to at least try for a little while to tap into this leverage of energy that creates worlds by choosing the disc and then seeing what happens and choosing the disc and seeing what happens choosing it deliberately and see what happens choose it indeliberately but see what happens and so what's going to happen to you is you're going to become aware that you can choose it you're going to get better at choosing it you're going to become more invigorated as you choose and the evidence supports whatever it is you've chosen until in time your defensiveness will leave you all together you will never again feel the need to blame anyone or to criticize yourself because the universe is just responding to the vibration that you've got going on period no judgment we're not saying oh it's gonna be fun to see what she gets now look at the discs she's chosen this is gonna be a horrible horrible day <laughs> maybe she'll learn a lesson now 
there's none of that going on it's just a self instruction course that you are on with a universe that is responding actively and constantly and precisely to the vibration that you've got going in order to assist you in the selection of your vibrational point of attraction and as you begin doing it more and more life just gets better and better until people who know you like you say they'll be annoyed they'll be annoyed because it's just not fair that all that good stuff comes to you and all that good stuff doesn't come to them and you just can't point out to them well I chose this disc you chose that disc it's not a good teaching moment is it <laughs> but it's a wonderful thing for you to know do you feel like you know it aren't you sort of eager to see what the day brings to you can't you feel a lightheartedness that you haven't felt as consistently for a while do you realize as you've listened to us ramble as we stubbornly stay on that vibrational place speaking to you the vibrational accuracy and demonstrating to you through words and explanations do you understand that you have jumped some discs and that you're in a different vibrational place and that your point of attraction has shifted and you are new unto the universe and that every relationship that you have will now be different as a result of this focus that you've participated in in these hours and doesn't it make you just eager to focus on the things that matter to you and to find vibrational lightness with the things that matter don't you sort of want to get on that disc and then address an issue and see what happens don't you want to get on that disc don't you want to get on that disc and from that disc lay new pipes don't you want to do all of your laying of new pipes from that high flying disc don't you want to get there and then lay the pipes and is there a risk that when you get there and begin to lay new pipes that you'll fall off yeah there's a risk but so what you can get back on tomorrow you can get back on tomorrow you can get back on later and do you know that if you continue to try to lay new pipes from that high flying disc do you know that you will and then do you know that that issue will resolve that it will present itself to you in the delightful way that you deserve for it to present itself to you do you know that there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have and that all things that you desire have already been queued up for you that they exist vibrationally and that you're being guided by the path of least resistance to them but you've got to be on the vibe and now don't you feel like you can do it so when you feel negative emotion what's it mean so the end of the world does it mean you've done something bad does it mean you have a different opinion does it mean you've jumped discs that you found a lower disc does it mean that you should give up or does it mean that you are now consciously aware that you are utilizing your guidance system and that you're understanding the vibrational beingness of your point of attraction don't you think in a universe that's responding to your vibration that knowing what your vibration is is of tremendous value to you and do you think that you could know what the high flying disc feels like if you were never on a lower disc don't you need that relationship in order to even focus yourself there and don't you know that even when you get on that high flying disc that there's always going to be a higher and a higher and a higher and a higher one because life's going to keep causing you to parlay yourself into higher and higher frequencies and into faster and faster momentum don't you love knowing what you know don't you feel just a little bit invincible aren't you more certain of where you're going and do you really care about that house right now does it really matter at all isn't it inconsequential in the bigger scheme of things aren't there just endless things that you're gonna think and feel around in the meantime and aren't you certain that that too will turn out Esther's got a plaque on her dashboard she's gonna bring them for all of you soon in fact we will send them to you it's a good time for you to have them they will come with your recordings if you order them and if you don't order recordings they will come without the recordings that you didn't order <laughs> <laughs> and it says can't read it when you look at it because it's backwards but when it lays on the, your dashboard and reflects into the windshield it says things are always working out for me yes. and they are things are always working out for you enough yes.